Hi, my name is Aaron Clark, and in this video I'll be demonstrating 3D Connection Space Navigator. The Space Navigator is a revolutionary device designed to give you unprecedented control in 3D environments. This is accomplished by allowing you to perform all of your navigational needs with a single hand. With a few simple twists of the wrist, you can roll left and right, tilt forwards and backwards, spin left and right, pan up and pan down, pan left and pan right, zoom in and zoom out, or combine them to perform a variety of fluid motions. The first thing you'll notice after installing the 3D Connection software is your 3D Mouse Home. From this menu you will find a training program, the manual, the properties panel, a 3D cube puzzle, a collage creator, an OBJ viewer, and an option to register your product. If nothing else, I recommend using the training program. It takes less than five minutes to complete and is a great starting point for beginners. Now onto my 3D program of choice, Autodesk Maya. Let's take a look what the Space Navigator can do. By selecting an object and pressing the button on the right, the object will be fit to the screen. By pressing the button on the left, you will open the Options menu. From here you can pause motion, essentially turning the Space Navigator off and on. You can also adjust the speed, which is critical when switching from flying through a large scene to inspecting geometry on a small object. The third option on the pop-up menu allows you to customize the buttons to perform any action available in the given program. Next comes the fun part. You can choose between three different modes. In object mode, you use the Space Navigator to move the camera in relation to an object. If you want to move an object down, you push down on the controller cap, and when you raise the cap, the object moves up on the screen. Camera mode centers the axis of rotation on the camera, so that you can take direct control of it. This is by far my favorite mode. Here you can see me carefully navigating the object while examining its topology. If I find that something is out of alignment, I can easily translate it, while at the same time rotate around it to ensure that it looks good from multiple angles. Target camera mode acts similarly to how you would typically navigate in Maya with a mouse and keyboard combo. You can see that when I stop moving the space navigator, the center of rotation changes to whatever is currently in the middle of the screen. This is what it perceives to be the point of interest. You can change this by control middle mouse button clicking where you would like to anchor the center. Unchecking auto and selecting use selected object will make the object rotate in a strange manner. And this can be quite frustrating. We can fix this by also selecting lock horizon. Now it behaves as you would expect. I find that this, combined with camera mode, leaves little to be desired. By selecting both auto and use selected object, the center of rotation will change, but will never leave the selected object. This could be useful for rotating around a smaller part of a large object, when there are other objects nearby that may accidentally be chosen for the center of rotation. In the advanced options submenu, you can constrain the Space Navigator to the 3D view, disabling all other movement in orthographic views. You can also use the Space Navigator to actually transform the objects in your scene. I found this to be a bit tedious, however it's very useful in working with objects that don't require a great deal of accuracy. Last but not least, you can use Auto Key Animation. This is a really neat feature. Auto Key Animation allows you to automatically key the movements of your camera when using your 3D mouse. To use this function, create a camera and select Panels Look Through Selected. Move the camera where you would like the animation to start. Now, select Auto Key Animation from the pop-up menu, and select Auto Key Frame in the bottom right corner of Maya. Now all of your movements are being recorded. Once you are finished, 
Scrub the timeline back to frame 1 and press play. Now if you've watched some of the other 3D connection demos on the web, you've no doubt seen someone open up Google Earth and fly like a helicopter. Big deal. With new beta drivers, you're free to use a 3D mouse in almost every application on the market. Just open up the 3D Connection Properties panel and you can choose how the Space Navigator behaves in a program of your choice. Now, back to the helicopter business. Helicopter flight in Battlefield 3 has never been easier thanks to 3D Connection. As you can see, taking control is very straightforward and intuitive. Even a new player can be flying like a pro in no time. Observe the precise amount of control available with the Space Navigator as I fly the helicopter through a narrow tunnel. With the slightest movement, I can stay centered while dodging obstacles all without even touching the mouse or keyboard. In addition, having change weapon and deploy countermeasures mapped to the left and right buttons on my space navigator has allowed me to altogether ignore my keyboard while in mid-air combat. What if you're not into first-person shooters? Like I said, this product will work just about anything. Let's take a look at World of Warcraft. Although this game doesn't have support for analog controllers, you can still have quite a bit of fun with it. You can fly with ease without needing to click drag with your right mouse button all the time, and the ability to map hotkeys to different axes and retain your full range of movement within the Space Navigator can make fights extremely convenient. In this demonstration, you can see that pushing down on the cap activates a hotkey. With the ability to map up to 14 different keys to the Space Navigator, the possibilities are endless. There are also several other products offered by 3D Connection. The entry level model is the Space Navigator, which is best suited for hobbyists and students. And as you work your way up the line to the Space Pilot Pro, the features become more numerous and advanced allowing you to break away from the keyboard more and more at each step. Overall, I have found that the Space Navigators had a huge impact on the productivity and enjoyability of my work, and I would highly recommend it to anyone. Thanks for watching.